<laughs> yeah, this might be a little tricky, but you can do it. Yeah. All right, the race is still on, although Deadbeat is really crushing us. Okay, well, a little update. Dingy is floating. <laughs> What's up, guys? to go ashore. We are in Tobermory and we're gonna go see what the town's about. <laughs> the sound of, oh. of cruisers going into town. <laughs> Garbage and recycling time. Hey, we haven't put the motor on Rocco in, since Greenland. That was almost a month ago. Yeah, so a month ago and he seems to be running fine. Hell so yeah. let's go. I think this is the best weather day we've had since Maine, probably. I don't think we've been in this warm and like oh. sunny and calm of a condition since we left Maine. Because pretty much once we went to Greenland, we'd have sunny days like this, but it'd be cold. And since we got here in Scotland, we've had a couple like partly sunny days, but it was still cold and windy. But gosh, this weather is beautiful. This place is adorable. I love all the colored houses colored buildings <laughs> and it's really quite busy I think it's really touristy here usually I feel lucky to be able to experience it not as touristy but we're already seeing like buses of people coming to like the distillery unfortunately distillery tours are canceled yeah so if we were gonna do that that would have been cool to, to show you all we haven't seen a distillery yet since we've been here or like done a, a tour There's a fork in the path. Do we want to see a war memorial or a lighthouse? It's like a jungle. Yeah. <laughs> I miss like hiking and walking, especially on beautiful days. So this will be welcome. This is gorgeous. I love that Europe and the UK, they uh, have all these dedicated walking paths. I, you just like stumble upon them and you just feel so refreshed being able to walk <laughs> wherever you go, like in nature. Oh, feels good. Welcome to the Rua Nangal Lighthouse. In Gaelic, this means Stranger's Point, but I'm absolutely butchering the pronunciation. Regardless, this picturesque beauty was constructed back in 1857, and after some modernization and automation, is now solar powered. It's interesting to come across lighthouses as seafarers, not only because they provide guidance, but mentally having a known sight of land at night or in poor condition gives a sense of comfort and camaraderie with the land, if that makes any sense. Well, we concluded our walk to the lighthouse. It was super, super pretty. Beautiful. And I mean, still, this is like super pretty. Check out these cute car. buildings. Ah, car. Oh, car. Oh, no, we're good. Yeah. We should probably get on the sidewalk. 
Yeah. And we just saw our sailing friends on the boat sailing deadbeat, uh, sail into the harbor, which is cool. So looking forward to catching up with them, seeing how their journey has been. Good morning. So we left Tobermory and we are following along our good friends on sailing deadbeat. We had a couple drinks last night with them and they said they were going to a little island to do some surfing. And although we don't surf, we thought it'd be fun to follow them along. And we haven't really had a chance to be able to buddy boat. Uh, so it's really nice to be able to have some friends around and hang out with other people, other cruisers. Feels good to uh, like go explore a new place. I'm excited to like see what this island is like. Since when we were sailing down, we sailed past all these kind of outer islands of Scotland and they look gorgeous. So this might be really neat. Sailing out of Tobermory, it was exciting to set course to an outer island, one that is very much off the beaten path. However, more exciting was to sail with friends, social sailing, not something we had really done before and very grateful to meet up with our friends and decide to take this journey together. All right, it's officially a race with Deadbeat. Both of us have now launched our spinnakers, turned off our motors. There's Deadbeat up there. They're beautiful symmetric spinnaker. It looks like it has a mustache on it. We thought that was pretty cool when we saw it sailing yesterday. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna just struggle with some real light winds. See if we can keep our Jenniker inflated. Starfire, she's back in Scotland. Starfire. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah, you're gonna steal our wind. I see what you're doing. So, so the race starts now. Yeah. Oh, now you're passing us. So you're Can we say you guys won already? <laughs> I love it, guys. Enter the boat. Send your panda. What are you going to steal from I'm going to try to get some treasures. See you later. We're just super light wind spinnaker weather. And he decided to uh, come aboard, but he's doing so by jumping off his boat. He's gonna swim to our boat while we're under spinnaker. Is he dead? I think he's made it. I believe you did it, dude. <laughs> yeah, this might be a little tricky, but you can do it. Oh man. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> Here we got a nice towel for you. Oh, that's actually nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't believe you just swam up to our boat. Colder than a little colder than you thought it would be? Yeah. <laughs> You're insane. All right, well, we got some uh, lunch cooking up for you, too. Nice. Yeah, that's what you earn when you swim yeah. to panda boat. Yeah, well, I went swimming yesterday and it was kind of kind of okay. Yeah. But now, because it was kind of far in the end, yeah, you, you did good speed, so. It was fine. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, like where you were, you were like where I was trying to turn yeah, downwind yeah, yeah, and the yeah, spinnaker yeah, yeah. splash like, oh, just go that way a little bit and then I can come up and I'll yeah, be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's perfect. Got our little swim ladder that, yeah. that worked out for a rescue. It's like a man overboard drill, but yeah, exactly. really lazy man overboard yeah. drill. <laughs> just come up here. Yeah, that's right. All right, the race is still on, although Deadbeat is really crushing us. We had to turn on our motor uh, because the wind died. We kind of caught up with them and then the wind came back. So we flew our spinnaker <laughs> and then the wind really shifted. So we dropped the spinnaker. Now we're like close reaching 60 degrees apparent, something like that. But Deadbeat is gone. They are way out there and they're still flying our symmetrical spinnaker. Like freaking awesome but we're able to point like right to our destination. So maybe we'll make up a little bit of time. And we have Dylan on board. He's a professional sailor. He's been sailing, you know, his whole life. Sailing is, is what he lives for. 
love it. No, just kidding about all that. But he really likes sailing and he knows a lot more technical stuff than we do. So it's really cool having him on I'm board. Not sure and... about that. No, this is great. It's great having him on board and like fiddle with the boat and it teaches us us something. So please mess around with anything you want. The boat is all yours. Well, we are anchored here in Tyree. There's a small bay, actually a pretty big bay, that we um, got a little bit of protection, not too much, but it's pretty calm today. And uh, so with the Sailing Deadbeat guys, they wanna go do some surfing. So we're gonna load up Rocco with two surf dudes, uh, two surfboards, and then myself as a pilot. We're loaded up. <laughs> These pro surfers here that we're gonna escort over yeah. to uh, a little surf spot. Is there a name of the surf break? Um, After we surf, it, it will happen. So, so one of them is called the Maze. thing is there's a couple other surfers here so that means it must be a good break close to catching something pretty close right here this is awesome they're really like thankful for being able to just drop them right here I said no problem I am an adventure enabler so really happy we could use our dinghy like this to to get them out here to the surf break all right, so it's good surfing, yeah? Man, it's really good. I need some power. Yeah, I have like chips and shit too, but do you need any water or are you good? All right, I'm and you good. sure you're good? All right then. Well, I'll take off and I'll see you guys back at the boat. Yeah, so. sounds good, man. Hell of a hell of a surf day. All right, so tonight we got our friends on board and they're gonna cook us an authentic curry, an Indian dish, so we're really, really excited. So here they are cooking up. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so what, all right, what all right, do we have? Uh, yeah, what, what is this dish? So we're making a chickpea curry with peppers in. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I see some more ingredients here. Okay, there. yeah, so there's garlic, onion, oh, ginger, chili, and then some spices and yeah, you, if you want to see the spices. Oh, look at that. Okay. okay. So we are enjoying this uh, uh, mango chutney with onions and what's the bread called? Papadum. Papadum. So freaking good. Like this mango Ooh. chutney, amazing. The final product. Look at that curry. <laughs> Salad and rice. Okay. <laughs> and don't forget this one. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yes, that that is gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Yeah, so we're gonna explore this area. It's It looks like there's kind of some old buildings. I have no clue what they are. Maybe like an uh, old fortress, castle, military-like thing. Also where we came up to is a dock where you can dry out a boat. Mm -hmm. and, it looks uh, really cool. Yeah, kind of a neat old facility. I don't think it's really used anymore, but uh, yeah. All right. All right, let's go check it out. This huge dry dock was used for ships supporting the Scary Vore Lighthouse, some 12 miles out at sea. The dock was quite complex, where it could be flooded from an aqueduct in a local reservoir. So it's interesting, like this whole facility here was built just as to stay in that lighthouse, which that lighthouse is huge and it's like 12 miles offshore. But they had to have keepers, they had to have fuel, which they used coal, a place to dry out their boats and do maintenance. Um, a garden and like repair workshops. So they built this whole complex just to maintain this lighthouse, which I think is that's pretty awesome. 
And then recently, I guess in the last 10 years, they restored this complex as like a heritage thing. And so all the buildings are really good condition and there's groundskeepers and a museum. Uh, can't go to it, but yeah, that's uh, it's a neat little place, very unique. This place is super cool. I love being able to explore in unexpected little gems like this. We didn't even know we were coming to this island originally until our, our sailing deadbeat friends suggested it because they wanted to go surfing, but this has been really cool. It's been a good day so far. I'm excited to walk around a little bit more and see what this island has on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Highland cows, like the Scottish cow. That's super furry, really cute. And it was like a bunch of like little calves playing around. That's adorable. Yeah. And yeah, big. Cool, you're walking along the countryside and there's a classic telephone booth. So there's no telephone in there, but they left the booth. Maybe it's like, just for historical purposes. So now we're just getting back to our dinghy. Another 15, 20 minutes of walking. And try to get to our dinghy before the tide comes up. Okay, well, a little update. Dinghy is floating. <laughs> so, running to go secure. Okay. And I haven't ran for a long time. Sorry, Rocco. Yeah, I think Rocco's okay. Just out in the water. Just have to get him. Before he gets to some rocks. We're good. We have Rocco. I just need to get the motor started. I think I can rest for a second. That was uh, really hectic. Well, let's, I guess, get the motor started. We did it. We saved Rocco. That's like one of the worst feelings ever when you see your tender just floating away. Oh, I'm exhausted after that. I see Panda walking up here. Really happy it worked out. That could have been real bad. One slip up. <laughs> Learn our lesson there. Always pull the dinghy up way above the high water mark, no matter what. Then you don't have to worry about it, period. So. Yeah, that's the lesson. Now after we retrieve a Rocco, we retrieve a panda. Panda! Yes! That was easy. And then I was like, no, that's their tender. Our tender's bigger. And I saw it bobbing this way and then heading this way. <laughs> and Darren took off running. Oh, we got lucky. I'm so happy that Rocco's okay. It's, it's, it's pretty, 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 pretty spectacular, pretty nice. Or as them Americans say, awesome. Eight course meal, or sorry, three course meal, eight, eight pounds. Eight course meal. <laughs> Doing a tack, tack, tack. What, what at lock are we in? No, we're on island. It was a really swelly morning. Uh, <laughs>